In this video, we'll be discussing about Cloudburst and Lightning. Let's begin with Cloudburst. Cloudburst happens when a very large amount of rainfall occurs over a very short period of time. This is how a Cloudburst looks from afar. Now, you might wonder what a very large amount of rainfall means. Well, anything more than 100 millimeters per hour is considered as a Cloudburst scenario. What is this very short period of time? Well, it, this could be a few minutes or it could even be a few hours of time. Sometimes cloudbursts have happened just for two minutes and yet wrecked havoc. Sometimes cloudbursts have prolonged uh, rainfall, you know, maybe for two, three hours or four hours and have wrecked havoc. Well, there's another interesting thing about cloudbursts. Cloudbursts happen over a very small area. Usually a few kilometers radius only is affected. You can look at this picture and you would notice that the rainfall is happening only over a very small region, right? And, and it's very clearly demarcated. The cloud has kind of disintegrated only in that small region. Outside of that, there's no rainfall. That's how cloud bursts work. Well, what are the effects of a cloud burst? There's usually a rapid runoff of water, and this runoff can take along with it trees, people, cars, buildings. It's really, really dangerous. So if you uh, are in a place where there is a cloud burst, run indoors, and do not go outdoors. Okay, well, uh, this is how it looks after a while. Water logging happens and you know from up above, this is how that looks. Well, there are a lot of issues that one needs to tackle when there is a lot of flooding. There is a lot of destruction to property, fields, roads, life, everything in the way it gets destroyed. This often leads to isolation, and isolation leads to a scarcity of food and water. When roads are blocked, when there's no way to get to the homes of people, they don't have food or drinking water. Though you may think there's a lot of water around, all of this flood water is contaminated and it cannot be used for drinking. Here's a picture of the Mumbai floods in 2005, which was also due to a cloudburst. This picture is a picture of the Pawai Lake. Okay, how does one react in such a scenario? Always stay indoors and do not vacate until you're asked to do so by authorities. Do not attempt rescue operations on your own. Move to upper floors of your building. So if your building has three floors, go to the top floor and sit there. If your building has only one floor, you can go to your terrace if the cloud burst has just stopped and there's water logging. Go to your terrace and stay safe. Avoid low-lying areas. Try to go to the highest area in your vicinity, which is reachable. Listen to the guidelines given by local administration, and by the authorities. You can find that on... Uh, social media platforms, you can find that on the radio or the television and other communication channels. Next we'll discuss lightning. Lightning is a giant spark of electricity in the sky. It looks beautiful and fascinating, but it also often wrecks havoc in different places. Let's look at some of the common negative effects of lightning. Forest fires can be started by lightning. Well, how does that happen? When lightning strikes a tree, it can catch fire. And that fire then can spread and cause large forest fires. Lightning can also damage buildings. If lightning strikes a person, it may cause death as well. So, if there's lightning, one needs to be careful. Well, what should we do? How do we react? Stay indoors. Avoid using any uh, plug-in electrical appliances, appliances that are plugged into the main wall sockets. Avoid those. You can, however, use battery-operated devices because uh, those are not connected to your electricity line. But save uh, your phone battery for emergencies. Don't waste it. Okay. Uh, Avoid water bodies, don't stay close to a pond, a lake, a, the sea or rivers uh, because if lightning strikes water and you are in contact with that water, it could harm you very badly. If you're in a car, you need not worry too much apart from touching metal parts. You can just sit inside the car and you will be fine. That's it for this video. Thank you.